you got to be tough to be a rancher. Different things come at you from all ends. The weather, the marketplace, the economy. You're looking for whatever you can do to help you survive. I used to be a teacher. I'm just a rancher now. I'm not sure which one was my hobby. One of them was. <laughs> By teaching, that gave us a, a chance for a steady income. Years that's got a lot of rain, animals brought good money. We came out real good. And other years we had to tighten our belt and, and make it through. It's gotten harder and harder to know each year what you're gonna be making off the land. This was a thriving little town. It's hard to believe that, but we had restaurants nearly on every corner when I was growing up. This community has thrived on the production of fossil fuels. For generations, that's all our community has known. Hot oil rigs, oil transportation, trucking, and, and those type of things have declined over the last few years. The kids that are born and raised in El Dorado, they don't seem to come back. So the community is, I don't want to say the word drying up, but it's just not as bubbly as, as it needs to be. This project with Apex is going to help that situation. Texas is an energy state. What's great about developing here in Texas is that they are open to new fuels and new opportunities, and they recognize that you can be as lucky in the wind resource as in the oil resource. This is a revolutionary project, the largest proposed in North America. Starting from the very beginning, Apex is putting the idea of safety first, making sure that the facilities that we put in place, technologies that we are implementing are the safest and the most tested everywhere, because the safety of these communities matters to us. We're adding not just these massive renewable projects, but also these long-term jobs and economic opportunities. I'm from rural area in Texas, and after seeing what Apex did for the community that I'm from, in our school district, in our county, I want to get out and spread the word on what Apex can do for some of these communities. It's hard to make a living raising livestock now. A lot of people have reverted to selling property that's been in their families for hundreds of years. By leasing to us, a lot of these people look at it as a way to be able to hold on to the ranch. We're excited about the project. It's going to help a lot of people with extra income, but it's also going to increase the tax base for our county. Benefits from the project would probably help our hospital out, or the hospital district, the school, the county here, and help develop new resources for people here. A portion of our elementary was constructed in 1929. You can imagine, we need upgrades. When kids are in a proper learning environment, that they respect, that they appreciate, learning is going to improve. The opportunity that this would create, I think is going to be tremendously positive. Uh, we've already had, for the last 12 or 15 years, we've had wind projects that are in here, and now something like a combination of wind, solar, and hydrogen gas. What a blessing for a rural area like us.